He perhaps had the most famous blue eyes in movie history. Paul Newman personified cool. Big John, do you think this boy is a hustler? He was the anti-hero in films like The Hustler. Well, that ought to do it. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, and HUD, which earned him one of his 10 Oscar nominations. I'm always amazed by the generosity of, pe of the people in this country. But he was also an activist and a race car driver. Newman started in theater and TV in the 1950s. He went on to win three Oscars. You're an incredible flake, but that's a gift. One for The Color of Money in 1987 and two other honorary awards. He worked with some of the greatest directors of the past half century, including Alfred Hitchcock, John Huston, and Martin Scorsese. I'm hungry again. He co-starred with everyone from Tom Cruise to Elizabeth Taylor. Don't you get sick of being right all the time? And most famously, his Butch Cassidy co-star, Robert Redford. Sometimes he teamed up with his wife, fellow Oscar winner Joanne Woodward, who he married in 1958. He and Woodward lived in a Connecticut farmhouse where they raised their three daughters. His son Scott, from a previous marriage, died in 1978 of an accidental overdose of alcohol and Valium. Newman gave millions to charities through his food company and set up camps for severely ill children. He was so famously liberal that he ended up on President Nixon's enemies list, which he called one of his proudest achievements. He continued to act into his 80s, but in May 2007, Newman told ABC that while he planned to continue his charitable projects, he had given up acting. This past May, he dropped plans to direct a production of Of Mice and Men, citing unspecified health issues.